What up, Ms. Devontae from Devontae's Paradise, and we got another brief intro. Now, as you can see on the screen, we got Fabulous Loso, in case you didn't know so. Now, I've been listening to music since I was like a little, 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 little baby. So, uh, as time goes by, there's certain artists that I miss. Uh, I'm trying to let me go to the line. I mean, of course, Tupac, Biggie. Um, Busta Rhymes. Nas. I miss DMX. I miss Ludacris. Who else is there? I think that's it. Nelly. I miss Nelly. And um, Loso. Fabulous. Um, he almost he almost didn't make it because for me personally, uh, I think I heard Missy Elliott say this, but Missy Elliott was basically saying, well, you, you can't just get rid of the legends and let the legends go and this and this and that. But nobody, the truth of the matter is nobody wants to wait more than five years for an album. And I just say me, I'm not like your typical person. I'm I'm very patient. I'll wait. Um, but most people just they don't feel like waiting. But I think five years is a good enough time. You have to release an album at least every five years. Um, you should only take a five year break like once until you're like until you're completely done. Until you're completely out of the game. But anyway, we got your boy Fabulous up in here. He was one of my favorite rappers. I think he was one of my mom's favorite rappers too. So let's go over the features and let's go over the singles. Now we got Styles P, Jada Kiss, MOP, Palm Kane, Paul Kane, Ja Rule, Jagged Edge, Puffy. Little Mo, Nate Dog, and Pain in the Ass. So the singles are I Can't Deny It, Trade It All. I think Ride for This was a single and Gangsta. See, just seeing this, it brings me back because it just brings me back to a better time, the early 2000s. The world was at a completely different, the world was just completely different. Plus, he released his album on 9-11. So that's a little fun fact as well. He released his debut album on 9-11. I think um, Jay-Z released a blueprint on 9-11 too, so. My two favorite, two favorite albums, Fabulous Street Dreams. Now let's go over the features. So we got Mike Shorey, Little Mo, Paul Kane, Snoop Dogg, Missy Elliott, Tamia. I was listening to Into You and Mary J. Blige. So Into You is anybody that's like not like these new hip hop heads, like a real hip hop head, like a like like a real hip hop head. They they know the song Into You. And then we got Mob Party. Let You Go was a dope one, too. And I think Damn, too. So next we got Real Talk. We got a 05. We got a 05 Jeezy up in here. See, oh, and this is what I forgot to mention on a DJ Khaled. The brief intro. Um... I heard I heard from from a birdie that um, Fabulous kind of brought in and helped Little Wayne learn how to rap a little bit differently. You know, just this is what I heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but let's go over the features. We got Pharrell, Mike Shorey, Charlie Murphy, Jasmine Lopez, Jeezy, Little Mo, Sean Paul. God oh, man, Sean Paul. Mike Shorey, Pharrell, Thara, 
Nate Dogg and Paul K. Now, what was the song? I think it was um, what was the single? I don't. This this album didn't get pushed that much. I think it was Breathe. I would have to listen to this album to kind of. Oh, and Baby. So. I don't know what's going on. I think somebody really thinking about me. Wondering if I'm okay. Yeah, somebody's thinking about me. Okay, let's let's get back into this. So we got um we got his fourth album from Nothing Something. Now with the other album, the third album, the previous album I showed you guys, um Fabulous went a little more hardcore street. We were known for him being a cool, suave, pick a lady up, marry her, maybe date her, go out on dates. Because back in those days, we actually used to go out on dates. Like, But nowadays, everybody's just fucking. So with this From Nothing to Something album, he mixed the two together. So let's go over the features. We got Akon, Neo, T Pain, Swiss Beats, Junior Reed, Lloyd, Rihanna. Oh seven Rihanna. Holy shit. This shit is blowing my mind right now. Um we got Jeezy, Uncle Murder, Jay Z, a O seven Jay Z, Red Cafe. Pusha T, see? 07 Pusha T. Pusha T didn't even release his first album until 2013. He has songs with Fabulous. He has songs with Justin Timberlake. He has songs with Nelly. E-40. I think he, yeah, yeah, E-40. He's been all over the place. And we got Lil Mo. The singles is Make Me Better. Oh, man, that was a joint. <laughs> Make Me Better. And diamonds with Jeezy. All right, so now we got Low Soe. I like this album. Very slept on album. I think I can listen to this album back to back. Let's go over the features. So we got Jeremiah, Kobe, Carrie Hilson, Ryan Leslie, The Dream, Jay Z, Lil Wayne, Paul Kane, Red Cafe, Freck Billionaire. Ryan, we already said Ryan Leslie, Neo, Trey Songs, and Marsha and Proceus. What was the single? Yeah, everything, every day, everywhere. My time. The bag. Throw it in the bag. Just throw it in the bag. Just throw it in the bag. Yo, Fabulous had joints, man. And I know a lot of younger people are gonna know who Fabulous is. I spoke to a cousin. I spoke to one of my cousins. And he didn't even know who the fuck Jeezy was. So, so we got a four year break. Um, Fabulous came in with the Young OG project, just a short little project. Let's go over the features. We got Rich Homie Quan, Tish Hyman, Chris Brown, French Montana, the Lois, Kevin Hart, Abir Haroni, Nicki Minaj, and Trey Songs. Didn't they get into a beef? They did get into a beef. Nicki Minaj and Trey Songs. That's for another video. We'll probably do it on Nicki or Trey Songs. A brief intro. So, the single on this is Ball Drop. Fabulous is known for having those singles where you can just lay up with your girl, lay up with your woman, and just chill and she ain't got to worry about nobody else. See, that's the problem with <laughs> the, listening to just these new rappers nowadays. All they do is talk about taking your bitch or how many bitches they could fuck. But anyway, I don't want to digress to that too much. And um, I was almost about to get rid of Fabulous until he dropped Summertime Shootout 3 right at the end of the year 2019. 
I was like, thank God. He dropped something. So, let's go over the features. We got Meek Mill, Lil Durk. Lil Durk been doing his damn thing. Oh, a shout out to fucking, shout out to King Vaughn. King Vaughn is fucking dope. King Vaughn is hella dope. I've been, I've been checking him out. We got a boogie with the hoodie. Tory Lanez, YFN Lucci, Jockeys, Jeremiah, DeVito, Ty Dolla Signs, PBN, PNB Rock. I've been checking PNB Rock out too. See, I check out some of these newer, these newer acts. Hold on, y'all. It's a typo. I've been checking some out, some of these newer acts out too. Um, they some of them are doing good. Some of them are trash, but as long as the the ones that are talented are gonna stick out anyway. The ones that don't have any talent, they're 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 gonna fall to the wayside. So it's not. I mean, it's scary, but it's just it's really not that scary. But anyway, let's keep going with the features. So we got Gucci Man, Two Chains, Josh K, Roddy Rich, Young Man doing his damn thing. I just figured out about two weeks ago he's from Compton. I didn't even know. Um, so we got Chris Brown, Tiana Taylor, and then he got another one with Jeremiah. So yeah, this is Loso. Loso is a fucking legend of the early 2000s, the early 2000s era. Um, any of my hip hop heads know, know what Loso is about from New York, New York rapper. One of the ones that's still out here. He reminds me of kind of like the East Coast, like the game. They're not the same style, but it's just like, you know, it gets respect in his region and then he gets respect in certain regions and came out in the early 2000s. So it's one of those legends that I think more people should be hip to. Because a lot of your, some of your younger rappers still fuck with him. Uh, Meek Mill still has a, has him on his new album. Um, shout out to Joyner Lucas. Joyner Lucas has him on the album. So Los Loso's that guy. I think DJ Khaled has him on one of his recent albums. You know, so Fabulous is actually one of my favorite rappers, just off of just off of how he does his music, just off of GP. So let me know what you guys think about Fabulous. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Do you think he's too soft? Just let me know. I, I like him personally. But anyway, peace.